Hello, I'm Brian. Hi, I'm Avni. I'm Heidi. And I'm Nabiha, and for the past seven months, we've been working on a brain computer interface under the Neurotech Club at UC Davis. In today's fast-paced world, stress has become a significant public health concern with its potential negative impact on both our physical and mental well-being. Long periods of stress can lead to numerous illnesses such as anxiety and depression. Its effects can be felt not only in our emotional state, but also in our daily routines and work performance. Stress affects us in profound ways. It weakens our immune system, disrupts our sleep patterns, and can even contribute to chronic diseases. It's a pressing issue that we must address. Researchers around the world are striving to understand the factors that contribute to stress and identify effective interventions. Their findings could hold the key to reducing the impact of stress on our lives. Stress management strategies can, can vary widely in their effectiveness. That's why it's crucial to tailor interventions to the unique needs and preferences of the individual. Our brain-computer interface project aims to improve the lives of individuals experiencing daily stress by providing calming responses to alleviate its negative effects. By using technology, we aim to detect stress by analyzing the size of alpha and beta activities in the frontal lobe and monitoring brain activity in the right frontal lobe. Our team has identified the optimal frequency for focus and concentration to be 18.5 Hz, and we plan to utilize this frequency to detect stress. This will trigger a playback of calming music. Through this method, we hope to reduce the user's stress levels and improve their productivity and overall well-being. Our first step in building our BCI was data collection. We used open BCI hardware and software to record the data. We used an 8-electrode placement to read the neural signals. This is the picture of this placement of our electrodes. We then asked our participants to perform the Stroop task which was a psychological test which consists of a series of words printed in different colors. The task is to name the color in which the word is printed in, ignoring the word itself. In our literature review, we realized that this true task was used in similar studies to record stress data because it needs uh, intense concentration and focus and it requires the person to not treat the word itself, which is the, a person's normal tendency, and treat the color instead. After collecting the raw neural signal, we decided to pre-process our data to remo remove extra noise and artifacts. We applied a bandpass filter between 33 hertz and 45 hertz to remove low frequency and high frequency noises, which gave us a cleaner and more focused data. Um, we retained the frequencies that matched the alpha and beta waves because those were the waves and the frequencies we were mainly analyzing. To clean up our data, we applied an IIR and FIR filter to, remo to remove unw unwanted noise and enhance the signal of interest. We also applied a notch filter to remove electrical interference from the grid and give us a very clean EEG signal. So after we uh, collected our data and did our pre-processing and whatnot, um, our next step was to implement RBCI in real time. So what we did was we uh, collected EEG data from a participant um, doing like the Stroop task. Uh, and we streamed their EEG data in real time, and we uh, kept track of uh, spikes in beta wave activity and associated decreases in alpha wave activity because our assumption is that that sort of activity um, would, it would indicate um, stress. And so when uh, our BCI uh, detects that for a prolonged period of time, like 10 seconds or more, and that will trigger the playback of a Spotify playlist full of calming music. And then it, it'll just play until the person's no longer stressed out and they, they're uh, calmer. And so in such a case, you would see the alpha waves increase and then the beta waves decrease. We expect that a spike in the beta band frequency will correlate to stress. When we implement our classifier in real time, 
we want to accurately differentiate whether the data indicates stress. If stress is detected, we would also observe whether the calming music being played would help reduce stress in the participant. This model would ideally demonstrate if music therapy is actually helpful in real time and relieve stress in calming users.